I mean, this collaboration between WSL and National Football Museum is essentially an aim to provide 50-50 um, representation of men's and women's uh, football, you know, um, in a few years' time. That's kind of the aim. Uh, essentially, we're capturing the history of the women's game, but then also essentially projecting what it could look like in the future. So, you know, you're seeing players of the past like Tash Dowie, but then also stars of the future like Katie Robinson and Ash Neville. Yeah, I mean, I personally think it's really important to kind of showcase where the game has been and, you know, the progression that you've made over the years, you know, but then also to kind of have opportunities for people to connect on a deeper level and maybe be inspired by what they're seeing and thinking, you know, if I'm a little girl coming in here or a little boy that sees, you know, these women on World Cups, international stages, domestic stages going, I could do that one day, you know? And so it's a real appreciation for not only where the game has been, but where it's gonna go in the future. When I first came over, the, the WSL wasn't a full-time professional league. There were very few players that were fortunate enough, like myself, to be full-time professional. And, you know, the opportunity to take part in the 2012 Olympics was a massive platform for me, and I think for the game, to understand what true equality could look like. And it was something that kind of lit a fire and something that I wanted to strive for. And since then, you could see the growth and the investment from the FA. You know, we won a bronze medal in 2015 World Cup and broke through so many barriers then and then made it to a semi-final in the European Championships in 2017. And obviously, without those things happening, would we arguably have won the Euros in 2022? And would we have gotten to a World Cup final in 23? So I think it's really important to take note of the history and have an appreciation for what's happened before. But it also sets me up to be really, really excited about where things are going to go next. It's, I'm in good company, you know, um, but for me, it was really important to kind of give back to obviously the museum, but also just women's football in general. Like I've been so lucky to have made a career out of playing football and it felt really important for me to give back to football as well. And, you know, showcase that even in the space of 10 years, goalkeeper gloves have evolved such a, a long way, you know, and, I mean, we look even further back and I'm only just a part of a part of the journey. Um, but for me personally, it feels pretty cool to, I don't know, be kind of immortalized in, in a really small niche in women's football history, you know. So um, it's certainly an honor for me to be in such esteemed uh, company, I suppose, yeah. Every club um, in the WSL is loaning or um, giving us an object related to their club from a shirt to a medal and to other items as well. So it's the first time we've done that with any league, I think. So it's, it is historic, but it's also really representative and some really interesting objects. We go back to the very start where we tell the story of the Ditko ladies. We have the great statue of Lily Parr on display and another um, whole range of objects related to that and images as well. But importantly, history happens on a Saturday. So we're telling the story right up to date, which means a lot to our new visitors. You know, a lot of these young girls and young boys coming in want to know about their heroes now. We're the home of football history. We are the National Football Museum. So we're an independent organization that works with football to tell those stories in a really creative way. So this is the right place for them.